The Kids Safe Zone was our response to the uprising. When um, Penn North, the organization, heard that there were no outlets for the children in this community, we transformed a vacant laundromat into a safe place for kids. Last year was our first run through summer. We had over 100 kids every day. We knew this year we'd have more. We moved from 1,000 square feet to 8,000 square feet. So we went from 100 kids to 155 children. And last year, we went swimming every week, but literally passed the hat to collect the $1 fee for each kid to swim. It was 80, it was 90, it was over $100 every week. And we, we planned this year, like, how can we get the kids swimming? And I approached the city and asked if they would waive the $1 fee. These kids don't have a dollar. And we certainly don't have $100 every week. And um, I, I reached out this year to the Baltimore City Police Department, our city councilman, our city council president, and said we need $750 to cover season passes for these children. And Baltimore City Police showed up in an hour with $100. Community members showed up with $250. And then our city council president said, I'll cover the entire cost. So the extra money, we were able to buy swimsuits for kids who didn't have them and towels for kids that needed them. are excited that we're changing also the dynamic between these children and the Baltimore City Police. Uh, police officers come in here two, three times a week to come and play with our children, know our children by name, come and escort them by hand across the street to the playground, you know, pushing them in swings. Uh, outside of the images that we see in the media normally, we know in West Baltimore, specifically here at the Kids Safe Zone, that the dynamic is changing, the narrative is changing. Our kids are trusting the officers, and the officers are looking at our kids as kids and not suspects.